Hello y'all, this is Fresh Fire Wind Dragon, and welcome back to Blackwell Unbound. Um, I'm picking up where I left off last time, although I am a little sleepy. And, um, I haven't been feeling so well. Hey there. Nobody that old should move that fast. Just keep telling yourself that. Hmm. Joey, she could see you. How could she do that? I don't know. But I think this case just got a hell of a lot more complicated. Fantastic. Let's chat a second. Sure, what's up? That old lady. There's something about her. Well, she has killed someone. Yeah, but it's more than that. If she was just an ordinary murderer, I wouldn't care. We just handle the victims of murder, not the murder itself. Got any ideas? Not yet, but she's definitely more than what she seems. Lucky us. I think our reporter friend is hiding something. You think that about everybody, Joey. Have I ever been wrong? No, you haven't. There you go. I can't get a read on that lady ghost. She either wants to slap me or bake me cookies. You could use a good slap. Yeah, I'd rather have cookies. What we all, Joey? <laughs> hey, have you done something different with your hair? What do you mean? I don't know. Something's different. I washed it this morning. With shampoo? Yeah. That's what threw me. Yeah, depression is like that. <laughs> all right, let's get on with it. Yeah. No, I'm not doing that again. The kid can find her own damn loose change. Oh. I'm not ready for a nap. Come on, let's get out of here. Right behind you. Mrs. Sherman? Hello again. You got more questions for me? Yes, I do. Well, hurry up and ask. I ain't getting any younger. Do you know anything about a strange old woman wandering the streets? Hmm, funny you mention that. Really? I once saw a strange old woman wandering the hallway back in the old building. I yelled at her to leave, and she did. I doubt that she was the one you're looking for, though. The world is full of strange old ladies, not unlike myself. They kicked you out of your own home? No big loss. The place was a dump. Plus, they wanted it so badly that they paid most of us a monthly stipend just to leave. Pretty generous, actually. I can almost forgive them for nearly robbing me. So they paid you money to leave? Yep. Like I said, it was a pretty generous deal. The building was about to be condemned anyway, so everyone was grateful for the offer. Well, everyone except for Mavis Wilcox. Who is Mavis Wilcox? A lunatic is what she was. She lived down the hall from me, so I know how crazy she was. Why was she crazy? She refused to leave is why. Seagram was offering her a fortune, but still she refused. Why did Mavis refuse to leave? She was a lunatic. I believe I already established this. A total shut-in. The prospect of leaving her little apartment terrified her. I'm old and feeble. If I could manage the move, she could have. Of course, it doesn't matter now. Did they ever get Mavis to leave? Oh, you could say that. Yes, you would definitely say that. She left all right. Left the entire world, in fact. You mean she died? Yes. Someone broke in and choked her to death. Right in the apartment she loved so much. I'd call it ironic if it weren't so tragic. 
Did they ever find out who killed Mavis? No. Some stray kid, most likely, thought the building was empty and went in to steal whatever was left over. Didn't count on anyone being there. Bumped into Mavis, then had to kill her. Happens all the time. How well did you know Mavis? Like I said, I live just down the hall from her, on the third floor. I didn't know her well, but she did get some mail just before they smashed the place up. I took it, just in case a relative or something came looking. But it's been six months, and nothing. Anything else you can tell me about Mavis? Just that she lived on the third floor with me. There's nothing else. Can you tell me anything else about your old building? Good riddance is what I say. I lived on the third floor. Everyone on the street could see me. I like my new place much better. Do you still have Mavis's things? Yes, I do. Such as they are. There wasn't much, just that envelope on the counter. Could I look at it? You knew Mavis? Sort of, yes. Well, you might as well take a look at them. Nobody else has come looking. Thanks. Goodbye, Mrs. Sherman. Don't mention it. There's not much in here, just a photograph and a letter. October 18, 1972. Mrs. Wilcox, thank you for agreeing. That's her. That's the ghost at the construction site. So our ghost's name is Mavis Wilcox. I'd bet the farm on it. Get out of here. Right behind you. Mitchell, you got yes. some explaining to do. I'm becoming downright popular. Come in, have a seat. Did you know Mavis Wilcox? Miss Wilcox? Yes, I remember her. Lived up town a ways before she died. How did you know her? I wanted to write a piece about her, so I met her for a spell. Interesting woman. How did you know her? I'm looking into her death. I see. So what can you tell me about Mavis? I get the impression she didn't get out much. That's an understatement. I got in touch with her through a colleague who was covering that demolition. I wondered what made a woman like that tick, so I made an appointment to meet with her. What was she like? A very gracious woman. Brought me in, made me a cup of tea. Showed me pictures of a family. All in all, it was a pleasant way to spend an afternoon. What happened to her? Killed, so they say. Was found choked to death in her own apartment. Any thoughts on who did it? Well, there were rumors that the labor union decided to take matters into their own hands, as it were. But I doubt that. The police ruled it was some squatter or drifter or something, and left it at that. And what do you think? Me? I have no theory. Why did you want to write about her? I found her fascinating. She was asked to leave. She was begged to leave. She was even offered lots of money to leave. But she kept refusing. She was too scared. I had to know why. And what did you discover? That, Miss Blackwell, is the eternal question. I've spoken to hundreds of people over the years. Most of them were odder than Mavis. It's impossible to decipher the whys and the hows. As time went on, I've contented myself just with the what's. Anything else you can tell me about Mavis? I'm afraid I've told you everything. I'd like to read your piece about Mavis. I'm afraid I no longer have it. Do you know what issue it was in? I'd like to look it up. I never published it. I was going to, but then Mavis died and it just seemed wrong somehow. I don't even have the rough copies anymore. I'm sorry. I think that's all for now. Alright. You have a good night now.
Countess keeps turning up like a bad penny. Is she really a murderer? This kid doesn't look too happy to be with Mavis. He's wearing a Columbia University sweatshirt. That's her. Definitely the lady at the site. The gate is locked. I'm going in again. You know what to do. Yeah, yeah. I'll wait here. Hey, kid. Knock on the gate again. My, I'm popular today. Oh, you again. I'd like to ask you some- Look, I'm not going to- Who are- It's me. Your son. Sam? Yep, that's me. Sam! It's been so long. Look at you! Yeah, look at me. Sorry, I was so rude. I almost didn't recognize you. Come on in, Sam. I'll make you dinner. Ah, uh, no, I, I can only stay for a minute. I have some questions I need to ask you. Of course, Sam. So, Mom, how's it going? Oh, you know me, Sam. It's tough living here on my own, but I get by. Yeah, I can see that. Listen, Mom, I need you to think very carefully. What's the last thing you remember? What do you mean? Answering the door and seeing you, of course. And before that? Nothing. You know nobody comes here. Except for the grocer, sometimes. And that... That who? Nobody. So, Mom, how are my brothers and or sisters? That's not funny, Sam. You know you're an only child. Right, just checking. How's Dad, Mom? Oh, Sam. You know that your father is dead. John Durkin died years ago. Ah, right. Sorry. Woohoo! You got a name. So what can you tell me about... me? You're so confusing, Sam. Never mind. Do you know a guy named John Durkin? Is that a joke, Sam? You know he's been dead for ten years. Ah, uh, sorry. How can you forget? He was your father! Slip my mind. Slip your mind? Just, look, forget it. Have you been talking to a reporter from the New Yorker? Yes, such a nice man. He came over and talked to me for a bit. I liked him. He listened to me. What did you talk about? Oh, this and that. Don't know why you were so interested. Have you been talking to a reporter? Yeah, he came. I like what did you talk? Oh, don't know. Have you seen any strange old women lurking around here? An old woman? Yeah. I. No, no, no I haven't. You sure? Yes, I'm yes, sure. Mom, look around carefully. Are you sure that you're at home? You're so confusing, Sam. Look at the door. It says D. Clear as day. I'm going to go now, Mom. I'll come back to visit you soon. Sure, Sam. I'll be here. This place is filthy. I'm back. You were gone? Mavis Wilcox is Sam's mother. Stands to reason his last name would be Wilcox, too. Mavis was married to John Durkin. Now John Durkin is dead. Why did Mavis change her last name? Maybe she was divorced. Maybe Sam didn't use his mother's name. He could have used his father's. Yes. 
I'm becoming darn right popular. Come in, have a seat. Do you know anything about Sam, Mavis's son? I'm afraid not. Mavis discussed her son and seemed proud of him, but I don't think they see each other. I've never met the boy myself. Do you know anything about Sam? I'm afraid Mavis. D I've never. Do you know anything about John Durkin, Mavis's ex-husband? Oh yeah, she did talk about him. Broke her heart, she said. I know they divorced very early in the marriage, and he died several years later. But I'm afraid I know nothing else. Do you know anything? Oh, he broke her heart. I know they did, but I'm a. Anything else you can tell me about Mavis? I'm afraid I've told you. Are you sure you've never met a woman like that? No, I've never met a woman like that. I think that's all for. All right, you have a good night. I'm not ready for a nap. There's no entry for that. There's no entry for that. Columbia University. Here's the number. Columbia University, operator speaking. How may I direct your call? How about Sam Durkin? Is there a Sam Durkin listed? Sam Durkin, yes. Hold, please. It's about time. Durkin. Is this Sam? Yeah. Who's this? My name is Lauren Blackwell. I was hoping to ask you a few questions about your mother. Oh. Questions, huh? Yeah. All right. I'll bite. How do you know my mom? I'm investigating her death. Oh. You're a cop, are you? Because my dad was a cop. I know people. I can check. No. I'm not a cop. Didn't think so. Just a concerned citizen, huh? That's right. Somehow I don't believe you. Nobody in their right mind would be concerned about my mom. Whether you believe me or not, it can't hurt to talk to me. Maybe. Maybe not. But if you knew her, you'd know what apartment number she was in. I would? Sure you would. She never left the damn place. So what was it? Oh, evidently I can't take that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure mom walks on. Alright, so maybe you did know her. Thank you. So what do you want to know about it? Did Mavis ever leave her apartment? Never. Not once in the last 15 years. How close were you with your mother? Close. Think of the farthest place you can and add another 10,000 miles. That's how close we were. The woman wasn't a mother, just crazy on wheels. You don't seem upset by her death. Upset? Sure, she was my mom. But am I gonna lose sleep? No. She drove my pop out of the house and into an early grave. I once thought I'd follow in his footsteps, but not anymore. The woman didn't go anywhere. Never did anything. She was killing me just by existing. Now I feel like I can breathe again. That's the truth. What was it like living with her? You kidding? I lived with my pop. After three years of marriage, he had enough. Glad he had the sense to take me with him. And after your father died? I got by. You never visited your mother? Yeah, I visited her on Mother's Day, if that's what you want to know. Even got her a present once. Really? Yeah, for all the good it did. What did you give your mom for Mother's Day? I don't think that's any of your business, lady. It's been years. Just dust on the ground now. What do you know about her death? It was suicide. She killed herself? Not literally, but it was like she chose to die. She had every opportunity to leave. They were going to pay her and find her a new place and everything. 
I tried to get her out, but that's my mom. She couldn't be dragged out of that dump by anybody or anything. Do you know who killed her? She was killed by some junkie, wasn't she? So they say. You think different? That's what I'm trying to find out. Good luck to you. Bye, Sam. Thanks for your time. Yeah. Sam got his mother a present for Mother's Day. Whatever it was, it probably got destroyed when the building was knocked down. Come on, let's get out of here. Right behind you. Yes? I'm becoming downright popular. Come in, have a seat. Did Mavis ever mention a gift or present from her son? Now that you mention it, yes. She showed me a leather-bound edition of Alice in Wonderland and said it was from her son. Alice in Wonderland? Yes, by Lewis Carroll. Yeah, I've heard of it. I think that's all for now. All right. You have a good night now. Well, hopefully that's the last time I need to talk with you. I'm going in again. You know what to do. Yeah, yeah. I'll wait here. Hey, kid. Knock on the gate again. My. I'm popular today. Oh, hello, Sam. Hi, Mom. Hey, Mom. Do you have that present I gave you? Which, Which present, present was that? that? The book, Alice in Wonderland. Of course I still have it. It was the only Mother's Day gift you ever bought me, Sam. Can I see it? Whatever for. Come on, Ma, I just want to see it. Sure, Sam. It's right on the table. Great. Uh, why don't you bring it out here? You mean, pick it up? Yeah, pick it up and bring it over. Pick it up. Sure, I can pick it up. Oh, no! What? The book, it's gone! Gone, huh? Imagine that. Somebody stole it! Sam, I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. It's okay, Mom. Okay? Okay? I lost your gift! You can't pick up the book because it's not there. Sam? The book's not there, and neither is the table, right? What? Think! The book's gone, the table's gone, the whole room is gone! Sam, Sam you're, you're awful. awful! I'm upset, upset and I'm, and I'm sorry. sorry. Don't, don't make, make it, it worse, worse please. please! You need to find that book, Mom. I don't know if I can love a mother who loses my gifts. You don't mean that! I mean it, Mom. You need to tell me where the book is. But... but I, don't I don't know where to look! look. Maybe it's out here, Mom. In the hallway? Sure, in the hallway. Yeah, I'm sure it's out here. Come on out and help me look. Oh, okay, okay Sam. Sam. But, but only for you. you. I, I, I still, still don't, don't see it anywhere. anywhere. Let's try further down, Mom. I'm, I'm outside. Yeah. I knew you could do it, Mom. Mom? Sam? Sam, Sam where are, are we? we? I'm, I'm scared. scared. I'm right here. Mom, I need you to do something. What? Turn around. I can't. Sure you can. Just turn around and look behind you. Oh. Where's the building? Where's my apartment? Where's my home? It's gone! Those bastards, they tore it down! You. You made me leave, and they tore it down! Hey, calm down. I've got nothing now. Mom. I am not your mother. You are not my son. My son hates me. All I had left was my home, and then... Then I... Oh, 
God. Are you happy now? You couldn't just leave me there. You had to bring me out. You had to make me remember. I'm sorry. It's horrible. Being dead, it's horrible. You get used to it. I... I don't want to feel like this anymore. Everything is so dark and cold. Can I go home now? Sure. Sure, I can take you home. Just hold on to this. Over to you, kid. Right. Oh my god. Nervous? It's so bright and big. It just goes on forever. I just want to go home. Please, can I go home? I think that's the only home you've got now. I'm sorry. What a legacy. Husband gone and dead. My son hates my guts. My home is gone. My life, over. I remember that too. Dying, I mean. That old woman choking me. Old woman? She just came in and killed me. She said she was going to help me. Uh, well, what now? The light, Mavis. Just head towards it. And then? I don't know. I'm scared, but it feels right somehow. Oh, John. Sam. I'm so sorry. For everything. I wish I could feel sorry for you. But I don't feel much of anything anymore. Best of luck, wherever you are. Yeah, fine. I'm exhausted. Call it a night? Sounds good to me. You? Like clockwork. I you I to do saved her! Yeah, sure we did. No thanks to you. We've got some questions for you, lady. Why did you kill Isaac and Mavis? I didn't kill them! I'm like you! You're nothing like us. We don't kill. I help spirits into the next world! Like you. You mean, you're a medium? Yes. But you can't be. I am like you. Wait, no. This doesn't make any sense. Why are you killing people? I save people. I don't hurt them. Get back here, stupid old hag. Let's get after her. God damn it. Your nose okay? That lamppost should not have been there. this week's episode. Uh, I'll get started on the next case and figure out what's up with the Countess. But, uh, thank you all for watching. This is Brushfire Wind Dragon signing off.